initial 911 call came in at 10.57 p.m. on December 11th, 2020. 911, what is the nature of your emergency? I don't know. I mean, I don't know if it's an emergency, but could you please send someone? Do you need police, or is this a medical emergency? Could you send an officer out? I mean, I don't know. It might just be some kids messing around or something, but... Hello? I'd feel better if someone came out to check. What is your address? 1056... And what is your name? It's... Aaron Feller. Okay, Aaron. I have officers on the way. What's going on? Well... I was calling my dog in from the backyard. And she was growling at something out there. I couldn't see what, though. I finally got her to come inside, and the second I closed the door and locked it, something smacked into the glass window. Not hard enough to break it, but it was hard enough to rattle the door. What time was this? About five minutes ago. Were you able to see anyone? No, there's blinders on my back door and they were down, but I heard the doorknob jiggle a few times before I called you. Caller tries to quiet her dog who can be heard growling. I yelled, I yelled that I was calling the police and the noise stopped, but like I said, it could be some kids, but I don't know. Okay, and have you heard any other noises since then? No, just the door, but my dog's still growling. Okay, I have an officer en route to you, Aaron. Are the doors and windows locked? Yes, they're locked. All right, an officer should be out to you shortly. Stay inside and keep the doors locked until the officer arrives, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. The call ended. Officer Collier was dispatched to the location. He saw no signs of any persons around the property. He did note that the dog was still anxious and growling at the back door. He advised Miss Feller to keep the doors locked and call if she should see or hear anything else. 911 call came in at 1.27 a.m. December 12th, 2020. 911, what's your emergency? It's me again. Can you send an officer back out, please? Caller is in obvious distress and breathing rapidly. Is this for 1056? Yes. Someone was just looking through my front window. Can you just... Can you just send someone? I have an officer en route to you. You said you saw someone looking through your windows? Yes. I was in bed, but Ginger, my dog, ran to the front door, growling, and I pulled up the blinders a bit, but didn't see anything at first, and then a face popped up, but just the top of their head and eyes, like they were playing peekaboo or something. I screamed and Ginger started barking and going nuts. The person popped down out of you again. How long ago was this? A few minutes ago. They popped up again just before I called you, but they went back down under the window. I'm in my bedroom now. Did you recognize the person, ma'am? No. I, I only saw their eyes and the top of their head, but they looked... I don't know... Like a, a mime or something. A mime? Yes. White makeup on their face and head. Is it just really disturbing? 
Okay, I want you to stay on the phone with me until the officer arrives. Just stay in your room until you hear them. Okay. Does your bedroom have a lock? Yes, it's locked. Dispatch stayed on the line with Miss Feller until officers arrived. Officers arrived and announced themselves. Eleven minutes later, the call was terminated. Miss Feller pointed out to the officers where she seen the suspect peering through her window. The glass had no visible marks on it other than a smear of white paint. Officers were able to see two impressions in the dirt just underneath the windowsill, outside the laundry room. Officers stated the impressions looked as if someone had been standing barefoot on the tips of their toes. Officers checked the area and the field surrounding the home and found a trail of footprints leading away from the home to the woods behind Miss Feller's home. When followed, the footprints seemed to be erratic and moving around in a zigzag pattern. The prints stopped abruptly at a large tree, but there were no signs of any persons in the tree. The prints looked to be made by someone who was barefoot and walking solely on their toes. Officers checked the woods but found nothing of note. Officers spoke with the closest neighbors, a half mile down the road. The neighbors stated they hadn't heard or seen anything out of the ordinary. Officers reminded Miss Feller to keep her doors locked and advised her to call back if the person or persons returned. 911 call came in at 3.41 a.m. on December 12th, 2020. Hello, what's your emergency? I need the police now. Fowler is obviously distressed. The sound of her dog can be heard barking in the background. Is this for 1056? Yes, I just saw the person looking through my bedroom window. I was asleep when I heard tapping on the window. And when I looked up, that face was pressed up against the glass. How long before the police get here? The caller can be heard breathing rapidly and sounds as if she's moving around the house. I have officers en route to you now, Miss Feller. Can you lock yourself in your bedroom? No, it was still tapping on the glass when I left. It keeps smiling at me. I'm upstairs in my office. It has a lock. Caller tries to calm her dog. Shh. Okay, Aaron. It was smiling at me. And mouthing words or something, but I don't know. They didn't have eyelids. <sighs> okay, Aaron. Officers are not far from you. I don't understand why. Caller goes quiet. The sound of her dog growling can be heard. Are you there? I heard something. You can stay quiet if you need to. I'm still on the line. It's... Sounds like... Something... Wait. A muffled metallic sound can be heard, followed by a scream and barking. screams and sounds to be running. A door slams. Ginger, come here! Ginger, come here! Aaron, are you alright? Can you tell me what's happening? A full minute passes with no response to dispatch's questions. Caller can be heard trying to calm her dog. Aaron! <sighs> I'm in. Hello? I'm here. I'm in the downstairs bathroom. 
Where are the police? They're four minutes out, Aaron. They're doing their best to get to you as fast as they can. Just try to remain calm. You're doing great. I got inside the fucking vent. I... God... Aaron, did you say the person was inside your vents? Can you clarify what you mean? Caller is speaking quietly. I looked. I heard something moving. In there, I bent down and opened up the vent. And I saw that white face staring out. How big are your air vents, Aaron? A standard size. I don't know. Six inches or so. Not big enough for a fucking first to be crawling through. But they did. They did. Okay. Take deep breaths. Officers are less than two minutes out. Oh my god. Why is it taking so long? Just keep the door locked and... I think... It's okay. Remain quiet. I'm here. You have anything you can use as a weapon? I have the towel bar. Oh my god! It's poking its fingers through! A door slams, followed by screams and high pitched laughter. Holler sounds to be running. <laughs> Laughing grows louder. Almost mechanical in nature. Call ends. Officers McQuarrie and Pape arrived on scene approximately 56 seconds later. The front door was open prior to their arrival, and there were obvious signs of a struggle throughout the home. Officers called out to Miss Feller but did not get a response. Officer Pape found the dog in the downstairs laundry room, staring into the air vent and whimpering. The dog had obvious cuts and scrapes around its snout and paws from attempting to enter the air vents. Traces of white makeup were found on most of the windows in the home, on the inside of the glass. After a thorough investigation, officers collected blood and hair samples from inside four of the vents throughout the home, along with fingernails that were embedded in one of the grates. More traces of white paint were found inside all of the vents in the home. Hair samples matched the hair length and color of Miss Feller's. It is noted that all the vents in the home were measured at 6 by 10 much too small for a person to move through, or even fit inside. To this date, Miss Feller is still missing, and there is a reward for any information leading to her whereabouts.